Hi, I'm Jess and I'm Anna from Bauer Architecture and we're excited to share Bellbird House Blackburn with you today. We acknowledge the Wurundjeri people, traditional custodians of the land upon which this project is sited in Victoria, Australia. Melbourne is known for its temperate climate and unpredictable weather. Very hot in summer and increasingly cold in winter. Our projects are required to be highly responsive to a changing environment. When our clients Cameron and Nicole approached us, they had been searching for a property in the Bellbird area of Blackburn for quite some time. This is a suburban bush setting where the streetscapes retain a peaceful ambience dominated by natural vegetation with no footpaths. This classified National Trust area has been protected against significant development since the 1960s. It is adjacent to the Blackburn Bushland Corridor, a critical habitat for bird life and animals. Cameron and Nicole were looking for a single story family home to be in harmony with the surrounding bushland. They felt strongly that the house needed to have a connection with, the, with nature the street and the local community. The site they purchased came with 41 established trees, a significant landscape overlay and very invested neighbours. The previous owner's planning application for a multi-residential development was heavily rejected by the community. Losing natural environment to development is a major issue for the city of Melbourne. The existing brick veneer house has no relationship with the landscape. The trunks of the trees dominated views at the ground level, so the house had no connection to the sky and canopies above. The existing trees also created deep shade, especially on a sunny day. Neighbouring houses are a mix of older brick veneer and weatherboard, with some newer developments. Their positioning impacted on the privacy of the site. We felt strongly that the project should strive to preserve all 41 existing trees in the interests of protecting this precious natural environment. After demolishing the existing house, however, the tree protection zones left an awkward shape of clear space for a new house. So, making use of the previous footprint, driveway and crossover, we designed an efficient square-shaped square single-storey plan. In close collaboration with the consultant arborist, only one tree became, was identified for removal due to poor health. And so the project became all about trees. A 2.7 metre datum height was established for the flat ceilings to keep volumes modest. Anything above this became a dramatic steep ceiling to a highlight window to harness sunlight deep into the house with overhangs to protect from the summer sun. Operable high level windows also provide an exhausting effect. Views up and out to tree canopies are prioritized. Structure by form engineers facilitated this dramatic design. From the street, the house is intriguing, but unassuming. The scale and form is sensitive to neighbors and responds to the existing vegetation. Through the planning process, there were no ob objections and the clients actually received many letters of support for this sensitive proposal. Large front and side setbacks were retained, enabling revegetation of the site. The clients were able to plant over 1,400 new Indigenous plants with landscape designer Sam Cox. Vertical band sawn and oiled timber cladding is reminiscent of a regrowing forest. A coir sustainable wood was used with FSC certification. Internally, a contrasting light material palette starts at the entry with a central spine of Australian natural limestone, wrapping from the front window through the hallway and into the heart of the house. Highlight windows flood the entry with natural light. The hallway provides a long view and connection from the front to rear and facilitates cross-flow ventilation. Centred around an open plan, kitchen, living and dining space, which opens up to the garden, the house is arranged to meet Cameron and Nicole's brief for spaces to share with their two daughters 
and areas of solitude for their individual pursuits. The family comes together for cooking, baking, and for making. The kitchen is a blank canvas to make a mess. They gather at the dining table and the family relax on the couch in dappled sunlight. The living area transitions to a generous deck at the rear, surrounded by a growing native garden with a pond to encourage wildlife back to the site. Another important part of their brief was to accommodate their many interests. These include music, craft, and reading. Our clients also wanted spaces where they could study or work. Raking ceilings to highlight windows feature again in these spaces, bringing in light and providing connection to treetops, lined in locally and sustainably sourced Australian eucalyptus timber. Nicole loves her space at the front of the house for her sewing, music and reading. She loves the connection to the street and the vertical button screen above provides protection from the afternoon western sun. Cameron's study provides a retreat for work, for work frame, with framed views to landscape. A rumpus space for the two girls is separated from the kitchen by a sliding door, which allows them to hang out while still feeling connected to the rest of the house. It was important to the clients and to us that the house wasn't oversized. The spaces were kept well proportioned and all areas are now used frequently by the clients. Timber craftwork was a strong focus. Each joinery item is an op was an opportunity to celebrate the material with simple vertical and horizontal forms, allowing the natural Australian material to speak for itself. And the clients love it. Texture and tone are explored too. Australian limestone cladding wraps into the powder room from the hallway and recycled eucalyptus timber vanities bring rich textural tones. The builder, Crisp Projects, brought craftsmanship to every detail. A lot of this is hidden. For example, they took great pride in neatly resolving the roofing detail. Another critical junction, the suspended vertical batten screens to west and east provide additional sun protection. The building achieves a 7.1 star neighbors rating with thermally broken aluminium frames, insulated slab, and 140 millimeter external stud walls packed with insulation bats. The building was also wrapped and sealed to minimize heat transfer. This project is very much the result of a wonderful collaborative relationship between architect, builder, and client. Our clients were closely involved in the conception and realization. Decisions were always scrutinised to ensure value and efficiency. Bellbird House actively preserves an important area of natural habitat within suburbia. It makes positive contribution to the public domain and it's a house of activity and togetherness, a home where a family can connect with nature, the environment and each other. Thank you. Thank you.